Hello, good morning, good evening, and welcome to Big World Cinema. Without further ado, we'll continue with what you're here for. And now that we're monetized, please don't skip the ads. Thank you. Don't tell me you've been watching those other idiots who are telling you you can only live on $1,000, $1,500 or $2,000 a month. Don't listen to them, you fool. They're talking nonsense. Don't listen to them. Now I'm going to say this only once. Now I'm going to say this only once. Say this only once. You're only supposed to live on $600 a month. Alright. You're only supposed to live on $600 a month. Alright, some things need to be said twice. Some people are stupid and don't understand proper English. Makes me so... M m m it makes me so... M m m it makes me so angry that you're listening to these other idiots. In this video, I'm going to break video. I'm going to break down a monthly budget of living in Cebu City for less than six hundred dollars per month. So pay attention. I'm going to spell it out in simple Cockney for you to understand. So pay attention, all right? If you don't. I'm going to send the bloody boys round. Alright. So it's 7am Saturday morning. I'm back in my old manor in Cebu at Mabolo Garden Flats. I lived here for a year and a half and then went travelling around the Philippines for the last four months. Uh, it's great to be back. I love this spot, I love this condo building and I love this part of living in Cebu City which is close to Ayala, close to IT Park and close to SM City and it's just very convenient right in the centre of town so it's a good spot to be for a year I was paying 13,000 pesos and then when tourists were coming back to the Philippines last February the rent increased to 15,000 15,000 pesos which is just over 200 British pounds, 250 dollars. The rent has now increased. I think it's now, if you get a six-month contract, it's probably around 18 to 20 thousand. Although one of my friends has got an extension for another year, an American guy, he's extended and he is paying 15 thousand pesos. 15 thousand pesos for a one-year contract in this. Uh, condo building in the center of Mabotna. I lived in Cebu City for a few years. One of the major factors of staying in one place for so long was being able to save on accommodation costs. I believe wherever you live in the world, your biggest outgoing will be accommodation. If you want to spend a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars, or two thousand dollars per month, then do it. But do you need a high-rise fancy apartment with two bedrooms and a jacuzzi? 
here in the Philippines, you, you can live like a local in a one room boarding house with a bunk bed and shared bathroom for 1,500 pesos or $27 per month. Or you could live in a 22 or 27 square meter self-contained studio room in a condo in Cebu. My condo in Cebu with swimming pool and small gym ended up costing me just 15,000 pesos a month plus an extra 3,000 for electricity, water and internet. Cost of food is the second highest expense. I eat twice a day and drink moderately at the weekend. Are you going to eat tenderloin steak six times a day? Or can you survive on a couple of balut with rice? I could live far cheaper eating at Filipino restaurants twice a day where a portion of chicken adobo and rice is 50 pesos but I prefer cooking myself at home. I rarely eat out, rarely visit bars or coffee shops. I'm outside the condo all the time, but do most of my eating and drinking at home. I don't feel like I'm missing anything, not eating out in a restaurant or sitting at Bo's Coffee for a few hours every day watching the girls go around. You may think this sounds like I'm scrimping and missing out, but far from it. Let me break this down for you. As you can see, accommodation tops the list. It's far cheaper staying in one place and signing a contract for six months or a year. And living outside Cebu City in a smaller town will also be cheaper. Electricity cost basically covers the appliances, laptop, shower and lights. I don't use the aircon at all and infrequently use a fan. I just leave my windows and door open all the time and with the breeze it's plenty for me. Please bear in mind this list is for one person. You'll need to factor in unexpected expenses. I cracked a tooth eating fried fish and needed a root canal. That cost $360 so I won't be eating that again in a hurry. My laptop battery expanded so I needed a new one which cost $50. My Motorola smartphone broke, bought a Samsung replacement for $217. The Canon camera I use for YouTube videos stopped working, repair was $118. It is possible to live on a budget of $600 per month, but just be aware of things that might happen throughout the year that might be out of your control. Don't miss out on quality broadcasting. Please like, share and subscribe to Big World Cinema. Thank you. Which is my favourite spot? IT Park is up here. It's a 15 minute walk. 10 minute walk into the back entrance of Ayala. There's Landers Superstore here, which is a five minute walk, which you have to pay membership to join. I think it's, what is it, 500 peso? It's not a lot, it's really something very cheap. They, I, they do special offers a couple of times a year and I think I paid four or 500 pesos, I think for a year's membership. It's expensive, Landers is expensive. I always walked further to Metro in Ayala but if there's there's some things in Landers which are reasonable price which is good to get there like Mongo beans and beers are cheaper there but everything else is pretty expensive I get actually I get my chicken there as well it's good price on chicken so this is the view I just love the view I love a balcony and I love the view And then there's the Kalex Bridge over there that opened sometime uh, towards the middle of last year, towards the end of last year. It goes over to Mactown over here. So for me, this my bolo is the perfect spot. I just I'm just happy here. I'm just I was living in IT Park up there for just over a year but I do prefer being down here in Mabola.
it's only 15 minute walk to IT Park anyway but I do I, I like this area here it's a nice area and it's very quiet as well you'd be amazed how quiet it is going up to the roof terrace in the morning and going for a swim at six seven o'clock in the morning there's you can't you're in the center of the city but you there you can't hear a sound it's very very quiet here this condo they have quite large corner balconies or most of the condo units here they have the AC coming out of the wall taking up the whole of the balcony so there is no place to put tables and chairs which is totally bizarre call me fussy but that's what happens here why put an AC unit on a balcony and make it non-usable when it is such a beautiful space. Anyway, I moan too much. This is a beautiful balcony and I love sitting out here enjoying the sunset which oh, it's 5.34. Well it's not actually the sunset, it should be 6 p.m. when the sun goes down but because of the buildings here and the mountains it will go quite soon. Couldn't live without a balcony anymore. I think wherever I, wherever I live I'd need to have a balcony because it's just a, a wonderful space and I can sit here for what well, I do I sit here for hours just looking out over Cebu having my coffee reading and just relaxing on my balcony which is just a wonderful space there are not that many places where you can go and sit in Cebu and enjoy the sunshine because Filipinos don't enjoy the sunshine they'd rather be indoors in a mall they'd rather not sit outside it's only us stupid foreigners that like sitting out in the sun and they don't cater for us they don't cater for people who want to sit outside there is a park there is the park at Fort down here where you can sit outside but there are very few parks and places where you can sit outside and enjoy the sunshine. It might be different in other areas. Well, it is different in other areas. Ilo Ilo, where I've just returned from. There's the lovely riverside walk where you can sit out by the river. There's lots of places there where you can sit out on the riverside walk at Ilo Ilo. But Cebu, not so much. I need to go to BGC and McCarty and check out their alfresco diners and cafes and see what they're like. That's on my list. Here at BWC, we are a sharing community. So could you kindly keep Uncle content by sharing this video with your friends? Thank you. This is ridiculous. This costs two hundred and fifty dollars per calendar month. What are they spending their money on? Food. How much do you spend on food each month? Good gracious. How often do you need to eat out at a restaurant each day? I was cooking for myself. What are these guys on? They must be living in Planet Hollywood eating. Elvis burgers every day. I can't believe the amount 
BS that goes around about budget. Budget. They can't budget less than thousand dollars a month. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous because it is possible to live here on less than thousand dollars per month. And not many people know that. If you liked the video, please could you like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to ding the notification bell to see my videos before your friends. See you on the next video. Take care everyone.